Also, the general assumption that no one would want to start um, any drugs if it is not really needed um, may not be true anymore. Um, people living with HIV in this era may have more willingness um, to start ART, um, especially if it, uh, the process, the starting um, ART process, uh, is perceived to be easier than uh, what it is now. And Data from randomized control um, trials also uh, tell us that by doing rapid initiation of ART, um, we significantly increase the likelihood for people living with HIV to start ART within three months. Um, we can also increase viral suppression rate at 12 months. We can also increase retention rate at 12 months. And rapid initiation of ART can also significantly reduce mortality. This is data from randomized control trial, but also from observational cohorts. We also see the same thing, the same data, although there um, is a trend towards increased loss to follow up in um, certain studies in uh, certain populations who may not have adequate readiness. So right now, there are strong evidences um, to say that rapid ART initiation generally improved outcomes uh, when based on informed choices. And when we say, we, we say that we will start ART um, rapidly, we, we, will, we will do a same-day ART initiation, the goal is always to maximize the number of patients uh, initiated on ART without jeopardizing um, treatment outcomes. And many of you may think or may feel that now we have the treat all policy, um, it should automatically solve barriers to ART initiation, which is not true, which is sadly not, not true. We still have to try our best to identify um, how we, we could um, refer our patients to an ART facility. We still need to screen carefully um, for TB and crypto and treat TB and crypto before um, starting ART because these, these are conditions um, that uh, concern us that it could cause um, serious um, immune reconstitution, inflammatory syndrome, and or death. And we still have to ensure the best adherence and um, retention among our patients. But more importantly or most importantly now is that we have to do all of this faster. And we have heard uh, from, from the morning sessions, and, and we, we know why we need to start ERT early. We know um, um, what to start, when to start, but what um, the guidelines on or, or ourselves um, do not talk much about is how to, how to do that um, quickly, um, how, how quick it should be to start ART, um, what are the required um, lab tests or lab technology that could allow you to have a rapid turnaround time of the results, um, and it's probably the time now for us to think about a simpler, more efficient and faster algorithm for ART initiation, um, rather than the one that we have been using for uh, more than two decades now. Um, we also don't um, really um, know where to initiate and who uh, can initiate this rapid ART initiation. And what will be the just right quantity and content of counseling and education? Um, and, and could this be gradually delivered both before ART initiation and over the, those follow-up um, um, visits for, for ART um, clients? And it, is also uh, could be the time now that we start thinking about roles of um, different um, cadres of service providers. So by looking at this list, you may be able to, to imagine now that it could be many different approaches to accelerate the process of um, ART initiation. And it, it would not be like a single algorithm um, to do this, but we will have to, to think and then apply the best algorithm uh, for our own setting. So it, it, it uh, must be an exciting and fun thing um, to do. This is just an example of, of the proposed algorithm to determine the eligibility of rapid initiation of ART. You may uh, want to start by doing symptom screening and then do um, history taking, do um, readiness assessment, followed by brief physical examination. Uh, but we will hear more from the um, South African and um, Bangkok experience in doing this um, rapid initiation of ART. WHO. Um, defines 
rapid initiation of ART as ART initiation uh, within seven days of HIV diagnosis and clinical assessment. And um, the, the WHO guidelines recommend that rapid ART initiation should be offered to all um, and that people with advanced HIV disease should be given priority. The guidelines also recommend that same-day ART should be offered to those who are ready. The, the HHS, the US DHHS guidelines, however, um, stated that the data from the randomized control trials may have limited generalizability um, to the United States. And that the, the, uh, by doing same-day ART, this is very resource intensive. Uh, and this is resource intensive to the level that this amount of resource may not be available in all settings um, in the US, although they have enough resource to build the wall, but they don't feel that they have enough resource to, to do same-day ART in all settings. Um, so therefore, the, the um, recommendations of uh, rapid or same-day ART initiation in the US right now is considered investigational. Uh, so um, I feel sorry for those who are U.S. colleagues in, in our room here. Um, but uh, the data on rapid initiation of ART is truly limited um, in the U.S. And uh, we have also only seen a, a, a um, small um, data from a small cohort uh, from San Francisco. And among um, uh, those participants in, in this um, small cohort, we can see 100% acceptance of immediate ART when offered, and also a high retention rate um, in care at six months, and a shorter time to achieve undetectable viral load among uh, those um, patients who were started ART under this rapid um, ART um, SOP. The experience from San Francisco also showed uh, to us that with increasing community awareness of ART for all. Um, many newly diagnosed um, people in coming into our clinic, they actually are coming in expecting and wanting to start ART. So we, we have to realize that the changing uh, mindsets of the, the community and also uh, uh, among those who are newly diagnosed as well. And um, participants in this small cohort also stated that by starting ART and being able to rapidly achieve undetectable overall load, this provides uh, them with the first experience of feeling empowered to successfully live with HIV. And I think this is a, a very encouraging perspective from, from someone who is taking ART to, to, to feel that they, they take it because they want to take control um, of the, their HIV and can live with, with uh, the HIV. Um, but However, um, similar to, to what the U.S. guidelines um, stated, doing rapid um, ART initiation or same-day ART initiation is, is not easy. Uh, changes and investments um, are needed. Uh, we would need more trainings, more discussions, more meetings to, to, to discuss staff responsibilities and roles. Uh, we probably also will need more frequent clinic schedules, um, may need additional um, clinic space, uh, may need to uh, rethink about our clinic flow and also to redesign um, a better data management system. So are we ready to invest in this? We may have to look at our 90-90-90 um, numbers and uh, with the focus on the second 90. And you can see, uh, see from, from the numbers here that um, less than half of people diagnosed with HIV um, started on ART in Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines, and only a quarter, uh, three quarters of people in Thailand and um, two thirds of people in Vietnam who are already diagnosed successfully started ART. And if you look at um, data from Thailand uh, with a focus on in, in Bangkok, you will see that only 57% of people diagnosed with HIV in Bangkok already started on ART. And this is a, a, a city where you see the highest burden of newly diagnosed uh, people and, and probably uh, the highest burden of un, unrecognized or undiagnosed um, HIV patients as well. And why uh, do we have that very low ART initiation? Um, you can find the answer from um, the figure on the left side of the slide here. Uh, half of people diagnosed struggled with the health insurance scheme transition. 
And this is in Bangkok, where the majority of um, population came from outside Bangkok, uh, from their hometown, to work and to live in, in, in the city. And you can imagine that it would be almost impossible for anyone to travel back to their hometown to start and to continue ART. And the, the process of having this healthcare insurance scheme um, transferred from their originally registered hospital in their hometown to a hospital that, that preferred uh, to, to start and to continue ART usually take at least uh, 15 days and could be as long as six months uh, to 12 months depending on your healthcare insurance scheme. Um, um, and you can also see here the 15%, the blue um, section of, of the, the figure, uh, the dark blue one. Um, this is um, the proportion of patients who already managed to get themselves to the hospital, but their ART was deferred or was delayed because of the mindsets of some doctors still, some doctors in some hospitals who, who may not um, fully accept the concept of ART for any um, CD4 count. And, and, and this is such a, a loss, uh, an unnecessary loss of uh, the, uh, the uh, patients from um, the casket. Um, so in July last year, we initiated the same day ART program at the Thai Red Cross Anonymous Clinic. And you'll hear more uh, from Pete. And we, we actually uh, has uh, the rapid ART um, protocol from San Francisco, kindly shared by us by Dr. Uh, Professor Diane Hafley, and we adapted the, the, the protocol so that it fit into the, the Thai situation. So um, what are the next steps? Um, I, I, I would say that um, we all should go back to our um, clinic and then start um, ex uh, accelerating ART initiation, start doing um, same-day ART uh, or rapid initiation of ART right away. Um, I don't think that we are waiting for any additional data from randomized control trials to, to, to give any additional data for us before we can start uh, making the decision because guidelines are changing very rapidly and many programs are already starting implementing innovative um, rapid ART initiation models. So um, the best way or the better way would be uh, that we start implementing something and do rigor rigorous evaluations of our program rather than to wait to, to, to hear from um, any um, randomized control trials. And by doing so, by implementing it in your own setting, you may also want to um, integrate um, some, some process to answer uh, the other research questions that, that still needs um, the answer, such, such as um, where ART uh, should be initiated. Could it be in a non-clinical setting? And um, why don't some people start ART? What can we do about that? Uh, what will be the cause and cost effectiveness of different um, rapid ART initiation models? As I mentioned, there could be various uh, models of how you uh, could rapidly uh, initiate ART in your setting. And what is the acceptability, feasibility, and generalizability? Because a model, for example, model in sub-Saharan Africa uh, for generalized epidemic may not uh, be uh, generalized to um, the MSM uh, populations in Bangkok, just, 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 just for an example. So it is now time for you to ask yourself, uh, as a healthcare provider, what are you still afraid of um, in accelerating ART? Is it the iris? Is it adherence? or retention, or is it the, the um, psychosocial um, stability, or is it just the workload that you are afraid of? But regardless of the, the concerns that, that you may have um, in, in doing this, we have to realize that we should not delay ART initiation to the majority of our patients in order to just prevent starting too quickly for the minority of mm -hmm. our patients. And I have come to my last two slides um, here. Um, and I uh, would like you to think where you would want to be in the clinical management of people living with HIV in your setting. And this is without any voting system. Um, you may want to 
only start ART for those with advanced disease because you still feel that resources and manpower are too limited in your um, clinic. And only those who are sick enough is considered ready enough and actually, they are the priority because uh, with delayed treatment, you, uh, you, you will um, uh, see a high rates of morbidity and mortality. Or you may want to um, do ART for all, but you think you still need some proof of readiness whether that be proven adherence to placebo pills, uh, proven adherence to placebo visits. Although you know that there's no evidence to support the benefit of doing this, but at least this calm down your mind. Or you may want to go back and then do rapid ART initiation. You will start ART within seven days and you think that is already good enough. I don't think I can get any um, additional buy-in or resources to do same day ART. Rapid ART is probably good enough. Or you may want to really think about differentiated care approach and you, you do same day ART for all and rapid ART for someone with serious diseases after you can uh, rule out um, TB and cryptococcosis. And you promise that even with um, this rapid initiation of um, ART for, for the latter group, it will truly be rapid. So in conclusion, um, I think we know, we realize that ART empowers um, people living with HIV to take control over their HIV, and that we also accept that not all patients uh, would be ready to start ART on the same day uh, of HIV diagnosis. However, it is our role to make sure that um, people with no contraindication to ART be fully informed about rapid or, or um, um, same day ART initiation. And although WHO recommends ART within seven days after diagnosis and clinical assessment for all, and they recommend same-day ART for those who are ready, I would rather recommend that we do same-day ART for all who are ready, and then keep the seven days rapid initiation of ART for those uh, a, who have uh, clinically or, list, or, or logistically um, reasons. And I would like to end by saying that um, we, we know that same-day ART is a not, it's not a one-size-fits-all um, approach. We really need to sweat more, use our brain more, and truly apply the differentiated um, service delivery um, according to um, Professor Wafa El Sardia's precision public health, and we have to allow more flexible clinic system. And by doing this, um, the quality of care by uh, implementing same-day ART will be increasing. It will be increasing. The quality, the safety of the patients will be increasing, not decreasing, as has been afraid of by uh, some groups of um, ID physicians here. Thank you very much. <laughs>